Hey our classers, welcome to lesson six. And today we're going to do some kitchen lithography. Now lithography is just a type of printing um, where you use kind of chemicals to repel uh, the inks that you're using. So we're going to be drawing on tin foil and at the minute I'm just preparing it. You must remember that throughout this, uh, you should not touch the surface because your hands are oily and your fingerprints will leave a mark on it. Uh, so I'm just roughing up the surface at the minute with a, a sponge. Um, so that I can draw on top of the tin foil. And I've tried three tools. I've tried pencils, I've tried oil pastels, and I've tried Sharpies, and the three of them both give a really good uh, print. So I've decided just to draw a hand on my plate, and in a second I'm going to take that plate and put it over a bowl. I'm going to use Coke or Pepsi, and I think either one of these works really well, um, to pour over the plate. Now what's actually happening is the acid in the cola is actually eaten through the tin foil um, where there's no pencil and where there's pencil it's leaving it. So now I actually need to take off the pencil so I can make a good print. So I'm using olive oil to actually put that on top of the plate. I'm cleaning up the surface of that plate and it's going to rub a lot of that pencil away and just leave me with a, a kitchen foil etching that I can work with. So I'm applying water to the plate and you'll see it kind of repelling in little bits where you've etched it. Um, I'm going to add some oil paint on top of it. Now I think oil paint works the best for this. I haven't really tried other paints, but I know this works. Um, and I'll balance between applying the oil paint, just dabbing it, and applying the water and cleaning it. And for pressing the paper down on top of the print, you can just use your hands, or you can use a spoon, or if you've got a rolling pin, you can use that. And now that all the hard work is done, I can make as many multiple prints as I want and keep one for myself and even make some for my friends. Happy creating!